We're gonna bleach my buzz cut. Ha <laughs> I've never tried bleaching my hair before. If I kill the hair, I'll just shave it off again. Keep watching to see the disaster unfold. <laughs> it's just hair, let's have some fun. I did a lot of research. It was suggested that I do a volume 20 developer because it would be less harsh, it would go slower and be less damaging to my skin and my hair, but I couldn't find any in a really handy kit. So I ended up getting the Manic Panic Blue Lightning because I've used Manic Panic hair dyes a lot and I love them and the blue lightning has like a blue toner in it to try to cancel out the yellow or orange brassiness that can happen when you bleach it hopefully we'll get a nice really light white that's cute we shall see I'm really scared I'm gonna end up burning my scalp there's the kit volume 30 cream developer mega blue powder here's our little tub plastic gloves shower cap and a brush <laughs> oh am I doing this some pro tips here don't wash your hair at least one day before, but better two or three days before because the oils will help protect your scalp. Yeah, here we go. That's blue. The developer is 30 volume, 9% hydrogen peroxide. I'm scared. I'm gonna start a 50 minute timer because that is the maximum I want it on, but I'm gonna start that and then after I have it all on, I'm gonna check every five or 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm terrified. Just, oh. So much for avoiding the scalp. Okay, it's easy to apply. Yeah, it stinks. Everything I read is like, put it on like a helmet. I think it's working already. I see like the color is changing. Oh, it's like not a burn, but more like a really intense mint. Tingling, and I can feel it fizzing on my head. Like a foaming blah, toothpaste or a teeth like whitening. Oh my god. This is enough. Feels really weird. I'm not a fan. I think I gotta put on the cap. Ah, uh, what is this? Really? Let's see what happens. It's been 40 minutes since I started, and honestly, like, it still looks pretty yellow. Like, right along this hairline, I'm worried. Nothing burns. It's just like that fizzy peroxide feeling. Let's see how this is. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I am yellow. This is horrendous. Oh my gosh. We are yellow. Oh, my poor hair. <laughs> what have I done? I'm gonna take a shower and uh, do some shampoo several times because this is, oh my god. <laughs> oh fresh out of the shower, no makeup on, don't care. Uh, I just wanted to give you like the first look at my yellow head. It is so yellow, so, so yellow, but I did not burn my scalp. I did not burn my hair off. It's fairly even. I don't know, some of it's like whiter and up here is a little more yellow. There's not a stripe here, that's just the way the light is hitting it, I think. Yeah, see, it like changes color how that light hits it. Oh, um. <laughs> So yellow. Is my part finally gone? Did it take like two weeks and several shampoos? So uh, there you go. This is what 40 minutes of uh, volume 30 Manic Panic Blue Lightning does. It's yellow, not sure how I feel about it. I think you can get it whiter if you go for a 40 developer, but that will cause more damage. Better to do a 20 or 30 developer two times and let it like heal with a few days between, but um, I'm not even gonna bother with that. This is so seriously weird for me. So, so weird. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like sit with it for a few days with the yellow and then decide if I wanna bleach it again, probably not. Okay, oh. here is the final. I got it way toned down. It is not horrendously yellow or orange anymore. I am pretty happy with the results and here's the secret. I went on some Facebook groups and I asked around, I'm like, what do I do? And a lot of them said, you know, you need to bleach it more, you need to tone it, blah, blah, blah. And it all sounded very difficult and expensive. This is what some recommended. It's Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. It was 10 bucks and I got it in like 24 hours, delivered to my door. It's basically purple tinted shampoo. They use a violet dye and also wine extract and you shampoo it in the shower and wear gloves because it could stain your hands. And I let it sit for like 10 minutes in the shower. I had a mirror. I kept checking and washing it out and putting more on. It toned it down like so good. 
so good. It's like just barely yellow now and I'm happy with this. I can totally go out with this blonde bleached buzz cut and not be embarrassed. Yay! It says use once or twice a week. Hopefully it keeps this tone. It's so crazy. When I was watching a Brad Mondo video, if you look at the color wheel, opposite of yellow is purple and opposite of orange is blue. And they have a blue one and they have a purple one. It just puts a hint of the purple on your hair and that kind of like cancels out the yellow. It won't bleach it more. So Brad said you need to make sure you get to like a level eight or nine or 10. And I think this was like a level maybe eight and a half or nine. I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna work. I was prepared to throw a major dye on top of it and just try to rock purple or pink hair. But uh, I think I'm gonna like be blonde for a bit. Thanks for watching. Did I pull the disaster around or is it still pretty hilarious? Perhaps. Whatever. It's just hair, have some fun. Be sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna do regular updates as the hair grows out and I figure out what to do with it and I'm gonna color it and maybe shave it again. I don't know, I'm doing some wig reviews, some hats and some headbands and all that stuff. Let me know in a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for what I should do with my buzz cuts. See you around, thanks for watching guys, bye.